All right, looks like they got some kind of inquisitorious update and, I don't know, plus future plans. Um, as of now, we have only four. We don't have a full team of inquisitorious yet. So, I'm sure this is going to be about, going to be about adding a fifth one. I thought the Grand Inquisitor was supposed to join the game also as like a legendary event or something. So yeah, let's see what um, they have to say. Hello, All Table Heroes. With the release of the next Inquisitor this week in Star Wars Unit Sneak Peek, players will finally have the ability to field a, a full five-unit squad made up of, of, wow, made up of entirely Inquisitorious units. Where does this bring me? Ah, oh, it's a video. Yeah, I don't want that right now. Alongside this character, we will be updating all the current Inquisitorious kits with a new unique ability to bring the full squad together. Ooh! First off, that's kind of goofy. So the kits that we had wasn't even technically the full kit. Everybody's getting one more move. <laughs> Second off, though, um, there's been like a running theory in the community that this was going to be a thing like maybe um well actually it was going to be with the grand inquisitor i think they were gonna everybody thought that the grand inquisitor would have an ability that makes it that each inquisitorious character's leader ability becomes shared kind of like a um phoenix you know the um Hera's leader ability how everybody's unique is shared um there's the idea that Grand Inquisitor would be able to activate everybody's leader ability because the leader abilities are decent but that's as far as it goes they're decent but if everybody had everybody's leader ability that's a lot of bonuses added together and then it's way more than just decent um, additionally everybody's idea on this was because it's kind of weird that every Inquisitor or Inquisitorious that has been released has had a leader ability like why <laughs> how are they all leaders so that's kind of what the idea was so you know this is kind of in that vein they will have a new unique to bring the full squad together so huh anyhow continuing on we also wanted to inform you that over the next few weeks and months there will be a need for this group in multiple areas in the game oh, well that sounds annoying now is the time to get your Inquisitor team ready to do battle. You will see Inquisitor-specific requirements and locations such as conquests, assault battles, galactic challenges, and legendary event. Oh, that's very annoying. I know for me, I have not worked on my Inquisitors at all. So, that's cool. <sighs> Seventh and Eighth Brother will also soon be making their way onto nodes and shipments, and all Inquisitors will have their marquees rerun starting on April 28th to May 10th in case you missed them the first time around. <laughs> okay, one, that's kind of goofy. I don't think they've ever done that, but... Have they? Yeah, they must, right? It's just once you beat it, you don't see it, so that's why I don't know. <laughs> anyway, what is needed to unlock the Grand Inquisitor? It's kind of a weird transition. They're not even talking about him, and all of a sudden, what's needed to unlock him? <laughs> You will need five Inquisitorious at Relic 5. Of course you will. With the first run of the event, there are only five Inquisitors, so you will need to bring all of them. The Grand Inquisitor event will only be active for a short period of time, so if you miss the initial offering, you will need to wait until it is active again to earn Grand Inquisitor. Yep, that's how they used to do Legendaries. And that's kind of how they're still doing... Uh, what is it, the Executor? Piat Ship. I don't know what that's called. Why is the Grand Inquisitor event called a Legendary when it doesn't have the same requirements as previous Legendaries did? Um, What are you talking about? It doesn't have the same requirements as previous Legendaries. Is it because you need all Relic 5s? What did Legendaries used to have? I guess you didn't really need Relics before. But then again, when the first Legendary came out, like CLS, Gear 12 was like the highest gear level. So things have kind of changed. Anyway. As the game adds more units, more acceleration, and frankly just more of everything, exactly, that's what I kind of just said in a nutshell slash in my head, we've had to reevaluate the entry requirements. Grand Inquisitor with his Omicrons, Omicrons, oh boy, so that's just like, um, Boba Fett, Sion of Django, he's got Omicrons too, will be able to challenge Galactic Legends, and so we want to make sure that power is earned in game through other strong characters. Okay, so yeah, full team of Relic 5s is a little more fair than just like Gear 12s or something. So what was the future plans here? <laughs> they gave us... This is all just talking about 
the Grand Inquisitor and other Inquisitorious? What, what are the future plans? Are they just talking about this event? Am I, what am I missing? I don't know. Anyways, yeah, so that's it, I guess. Just a little preview on Inquisitor, the Grand Inquisitor coming to the game. And yeah, I guess that's all I got. So until next time, I said see ya.